Okay, today we are going to discuss document splitting. Why do we do document splitting? Because when you purchase stock, material, or expenses, or anything from a vendor, there is a certain debit and credit, let's say 12,000 and 12,000 plus. Sales tax, withholding tax. Withholding tax, uh, so let's say sales tax 200 and um, this will be like 20. Okay. So, what happens? Profit center head office uses 2000 of per cycle. Marketing. Marketing will use 3,000 or 12,000. Production uses 5,000 or 12,000. Okay, so this is 5, 7, 10. Rest sales will use 2,000. But This is not visible in this. An accountancy standard says you have to make it visible. Okay. So what do we do? There are three ways to do that. And that is profit center, business area, and segment. Segment reporting is done. And that is mandated by accountancy standards. So what is segment? Segment is just like this area. We don't use this area, we use segments now. And segment to profit center ratio is or relationship is one which too many. One segment can have many profit center. What is a segment? Segment can be a business vertical like apparel, FMCG, food stuff construction so this can be run by one company so it's a group of companies so every segment will have profit centers profit centers like north south center west or you're going to have profit centers for summer winter uh Fall, summer, winter, fall of next spring. Okay. So you can have profit centers as like this as well, or you can have profit centers per product, like women, men, children, accessories. Okay. It can be made in this way. So I told you this is again based on customer preference, customer business sense, and their based on this, you can have profit centers. FMCG will have the same criteria: location, product, season. Okay, same for this one. Location, product, season. Project, location, and what? And so on. Whatever. Whatever the customer feels easy with. Okay. So, we use profit center to split the documents. So, what we do? We split entries based on profit center, which are attached to GLs. Or second, uh, these are one criteria. This one criteria, and we give default profit center. Like the provide default head office will have will control GLs like tax, withholding tax, liabilities, 
and so on. Um, south will control uh, expenses, sales, and so on and so forth, and so goes with the north. Okay, so that being said, once it is split, it is configuration is done. Stock material is purchased by profit center, let's say N001. Okay, so stock to vendor 12,000. 12,000, okay, plus sales tax and withholding tax. So what we'll do, stock 2,000, vendor 2,000. Now this is a material account, GL account. This is again a GL account maintained at head office. Sales tax, 200. Withholding tax is a liability 200. Let's say this GL is every profit center has its own GL. Let's say this was for North. Vendor, again, vendor might handle their own payments, but sales tax should be paid by head office. And withholding tax as well. So that's how we split. And same goes for same entries will happen for South, same thing. Okay. South. Okay. This is document splitting, so it's easy. I think we worry about. Sir, as sir, as you said, uh, we can have four different segments uh, no. or profit centers can, on the can, basis we, of. We can have many segments. This is again depending on the client, not on the consultant. The client will tell you uh, how. I was I was continuing my question as we can have uh, uh, profit centers on the basis of uh, uh, regions or pr uh, products and sections. Not necessary. Your client will tell you what to do with profit centers. Okay. G classified GL account for document splitting double A forty two. I will just copy this. Control Y, drag and highlight, copy. Page down. Control Y, Control C. Okay, we don't have any repetition. Okay. Page up. Five, five, one. Five and five, one. Okay. Classified GL accounts, KR48. New entries. Eighty thousand okay. Enter okay. Five and five one. Enter. Page up. And what is this? I'll just explain. Okay, now the vendor demands advance payment. Advance payment is handled by special GL. Now, special GL, why special GL? Because in SAP, there is a process to advance payment, there are three steps to advance payment. Request for advance payment F. This is symbol F. Advance payment 
A. Advance payment clearing. Clearing A. Now what is this A and F? A is symbol which depicts down payment or advance payment for vendors. F is symbol for request for down payment for the same vendor. Now what is this A and F might sound confusing. So in line item, when F request for down payment is done, it only captures one line item, that is advanced payment with numbers. That's it. Then, when the request is done, symbol A picks up request from F to record down payment. And that is again a single line item number. No debits and credits. That's why it is under advanced payment line item there is only one gl entry one gl no not double that's why it is handled by special gl and once once the vendor invoice is generated let's say it's 30000 or 3000 minus advance payment so your single line item is adjusted over here under the vendor GL. So this is cancelled from the special GL and transferred here and it locks out although cash is involved here, cash is involved here but once the cash is out advanced payment is active and that advanced payment is then reducing uh, vendor payable. So because of single line item, single line item, advance payment is then borrowed to vendor to knock out the balance. So what is this ANF? I'll tell you in a while. Okay, FP, AP, special GL, special GL, this is account type D, customer, I have to go for vendor, which is K. Over here, we have down payments, current assets, special GL indicator A, and F is down payment request, the one's request gets generated, it is then qualified for down payments to process A because FPKP special GL double click double A four two this is how you configure a uh, special GL. This is a reconciliation account for vendors and this is a reconciliation account for special GL. Recon account, this field. Special GL account, this field. Planning level, this field. Import tax clearing, this field. Okay. So this Sir, is... Sir, reconciliation account means uh, it's clearing account. No, it's vendor recon account, the balance sheet. Sorry, it's, it's controlling account. Controlling account, yes. 
market it is called reconciliation account in SAP. So this is local vendor, foreign vendor, dollar vendor, EKR vendor, material vendor, stock vendor, expense vendor, service vendor, all will have recall accounts, controlling accounts, which will be dealt by special GL account. It can be one or it can be separate. And how it is done? How it is done? Accounting, financial accounting, payable, document entry, down payment, request, down payment, and clearing. Three processes. Request, document, display, something called the not find document list, double F or two, enter. Okay, we have a Z is payment and I don't know whether this is not this is not okay. Is that by color withholding petty cash now? Oh, okay. I am not getting advance payment right now. F dash forty seven. F dash forty seven. Okay, let me show you. FBL. FBL one N double F four two cleared all items execute. Achha. Um, where do we have partial clearing with advance payment? Is that document overview withholding withholding input sales tax? Okay, let me pull out. Okay, special year transactions only. Um, okay, this is special geo, 1869, advanced payment 2000. Call it document overview. This is the ready cash supplies group. Uh, Three nine zero is the vendor. Fifteen zero two header document. Document header. Where is uh, advance payment? This is two thousand. Where is the signal? Symbol, symbol, symbol. Uh, okay. Change layout. Special GL assignment. Sir, sir, we can see symbol at the uh, ledger account or vendor. I'll show you just now. Okay, I don't want. Trading partner number, tax code, pocket statement, don't have statement. Description account for the company first. Okay. Save. Okay. Special GL indicator is here. Okay. Special GL is here. Special GL indicator is here. That's how you calculate and uh, process advance payment. Okay. So, uh, and uh, posting key is also different. We'll come to posting key later on. So, let's go to profit centers uh, document splitting again. Business transactions. 
splitting and classified GLs were already done. They are 48. So this is basically this symbol when there is special transaction vendor will pass on the profit center association to special GL. That's why it is override internal item category derivation. So it will derive the same profit center of this vendor for this special GL transaction. So that A and F will have the profit center inheritance for document splitting. I hope this is clear now. That is, this is basically, we are considering it as a business partner management. Yes, but no, not business partner. That is something else. That is something else. Zero balance. Eight zero two five zero. Zero balance clearing. Standard accounts. They are forty eight. New entries. GL account save. Oh 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 oh. Zero balance clearing. Now, what is zero balance? KR forty eight two fifty save save zero three accounts new entries two fifty save save. So what is zero balance? Zero balance is zero balance. What is this? Whenever there is a vendor line item. There will be some amount. Sales tax is not necessary, it will be rounded figure. Okay, so it will be like. 7073.93 then line item 2 sales tax not rounded figure and it will be 122.03 so 100 line items you will have many items line items with amounts beyond decimals. So zero balance will collect all this 0 0.93, 0 .0, 0 0.03 and so on. Zero, um, seven, two, and it will add up all of this and distribute between profit centers. Okay, that is the function of zero balance characteristics i'm not actually going over this zero balance is done activate extended method these are all um by default now comes the most important part and that is Master data, profit center, activate profit center, and hierarchy, standard hierarchy, default uh, uh, default profit center to accounts. Profit center account in controlling area, KR48, save. Say 2023 hierarchy KR48 hierarchy area is KR48 save through define standard hierarchy. Okay. 
ओके ओके के एस ओके के एस के आर फोर्टी एट डिफाइन स्टैंडर्ड है आर की ट्रेवल लोअर लेवल डमी सेंटर ग्रुप सेम लेवल नॉर्थ नॉर्थ ऑपरेशंस सेम लेवल साउथ ऑपरेशंस same level center central h o okay this is saved create dummy dummy this is data dummy ki are putting it असाइनमेंट चेक असाइनमेंट परफेक्ट Assign PP production orders, cost centers, fixed assets. This is how you can uh, assign profit centers to production orders. Okay. Order entered sub three collective order display over the CO zero two process orders. We can assign process orders to profit centers. So that's how you maintain cost centers, internal orders, fixed assets. Production orders, profit centers. Okay, now controlling profit center accounting, basic setting, controlling area setting, controlling area setting. Kr forty eight currency type is ninety. PKR active indicator okay save and there are three types of valuation legal group and profit center valuation okay now master data profit center define profit center create profit center n001 North Ops, North Operations, Gym Department Center, North. Save. Enter. Press Enter. 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 Save. Activate. Enter. Enter. Okay, create profit center S zero zero one S zero zero one double eight four two South Save Press Enter Enter Oh 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 S O O one Change for which center S over one master data S over one is made. Anyways, C zero zero one C zero double eight four two central office for a title group center save enter enter. Enter, activate, enter, enter, and it's done. Okay.
now. Let's wrap it up for today.